Hi there, I'm Bob Warfield with another installment in our G-Wizard Video University series. Today, I want to talk to you about G-Wizard's materials database and how you go about getting feeds and speeds for your particular material. Here's what you'll learn today. Materials come in families. You select the family first and then narrow down to the particular alloy and condition of your specific material. Alloys and conditions are more specific than families. For example, you may be cutting hardwood as a family, but maple is the specific example you're working with. Or you may be cutting raw aluminum as a family, but 6061 is the specific alloy. You'll learn how to search if you don't know the family for your material and how to select the materials you use often from the history list. You'll learn how to adjust your feeds and speeds based on the hardness of your material. I'm also going to show you our weights and volumes calculator, which is handy for planning and design. Lastly, I'll talk about how to request new materials be added to the materials database. So let's get started. Here's the G-Wizard feeds and speeds calculator, and here is the materials selector at the top. There are two buttons in the materials selector, and the one on top is used to select the family. The one below selects the specific alloy and conditions and gives you a number of other utilities. So, for example, here are the families that are available. Right? Often, if you're not working with a difficult or extremely hard material, the family is fine. Just select the family and don't worry about the rest of it. You'll get nice middle-of-the-road feeds and speeds that work in most cases. Where you want to work, go further is if you're dealing with something that's tough to cut because it's very hard or finicky. Good examples would be titanium, super alloys, harder steel, stainless steels, things of that nature. In those cases, use this lower material browser button. It's got a variety of tools to help you find and select exactly the right material you're working with. For example, the history drop-down shows you all your most recent choices, so that if you're working with the same materials most of the time, they're there and you can select them with fewer keystrokes. You've also got a search choice here. Say you can't remember whether Delrin is a hard or soft plastic. Just type it in. There's Delrin. Cl click the search, and you see it's a soft plastic. All right, Delrin is right here. So, by the way, the whole hard and soft plastic thing has to do with how the plastics cut, what kind of chips they make. Hard plastics shatter and produce dust-like chips. Soft plastics slice off more normal-looking chips. Okay. Lastly, we can also adjust the hardness in our window. You can either set hardness or you can choose an alloy, but you can't do both. So, for example, I don't know, maybe you're working with uh, some kind of a tool steel, right? And this is a custom uh, material you've made. Maybe you're making knives and you've got some Damascus steel and you've measured that it has a 500 uh, Brunel hardness. You can just type that in here, 500, uh, select the, mirror, the material and G-Wizard will adjust feeds and speeds to work for that tool steel that's a 500 hardness. Pretty easy stuff, right? G-Wizard has huge database. There's literally uh, uh, over a thousand different materials in here. Uh, even just the wood database has hundreds and hundreds of different types of wood. Uh, look at all these different kinds of oak, for example. So big material database. Uh, but what do you do if your material isn't listed? Well, the easiest thing to do is just request we add materials. We do it all the time. Uh, just send me an email request to sales at cnccookbook.com, giving the details of your material. If it goes easily into one of our families, I can usually find enough information in my research to add it quickly. If it requires a whole new family, that's going to take a while because I need to do a lot of different research to investigate how it's going to cut each different type of tool in that new family. We also add new families, though, so feel free to request them. The most recent ones we added were graphite for the EDM crowd and cobalt chrome alloys for medical, dental, and similar applications. Okay? 
So you're going to see these material buttons in several places. For example, here's feeds and speeds. Uh, our CAD CAM wizard also has the same configuration. Uh, it's even in our uh, uh, quick reference. We have a weights and volumes calculator here that'll let you go through. It'll give you all the standard sizes of different material, with channel, angle, you know, I-beams, rectangular or plate. Uh, you can select your material and we'll uh, and give us the size and we'll go ahead and calculate out the volume of the material, the total weight. Uh, there's a cost calculator here that's useful if you're trying to do job quotes, all that sort of thing. Okay. Thanks very much for following along. I'll be back soon with another video.